Good evening, I'm Paul Fraser and this is the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. Royal Guards Commander His Highness Brigadier General Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the United States National Training Center where he met its commanding general, Brigadier General Jeffrey Broadwater, in the presence of a number of Bahrain Defense Force officers. His Highness Sheikh Nasser discussed with the U.S. National Training Center's officials ways to enhance military cooperation between the two sides in the fields of training and rehabilitation, as well as ways to benefit from the military expertise of the United States. His Highness affirmed the depth of Bahraini-U.S. strategic relations through partnerships in various fields and the development they witness, especially in the military field, hailing the deep-rooted relations between the two countries. They also discussed bilateral relations and areas of cooperation and partnership between the two friendly countries and ways to further develop them to serve the interests of both nations. His Highness affirmed Bahrain's keenness on further developing its relations with the United States. His Highness Sheikh Nasser stated that this visit comes within the framework of cooperation between the two countries and efforts that aim to achieve security and stability in the region by strengthening cooperation in the fields of combating terrorism and extremism. Foreign Affairs Minister Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa arrived in New York, United States to take part in the 72nd session of the United Nations General Assembly meeting, which shall discuss global issues that affect present and future events that include combating international terrorism and sustainable development, as well as the current situation in the Middle East. Sheikh Khalid underlined that participating in the activities of the UN General Assembly comes from the Kingdom of Bahrain's belief in the importance of activating international action and collective effort that leads to the enhancement of chances of reaching political solutions to various crises at both regional and international levels. Sheikh Khalid stressed Bahrain's keenness to effectively engage in the UN's various activities in light of the Kingdom's established policy of building bridges of cooperation with the United Nations and the constructive role played by the Kingdom of Bahrain in maintaining peace and security, expressing his aspirations that the outcomes of the 72nd session of the General Assembly will fulfil the nation's wishes of development and prosperity. The Foreign Affairs Minister will deliver a speech at the Assembly in addition to meeting a number of officials from neighbouring countries and senior officials of the United Nations. He will also take part in a number of high-level events on the sidelines of the meetings of the General Assembly of the United Nations. President of the 72nd session of the UN General Assembly, Mr Miroslav Lajak, opened the 72nd session of the UN General Assembly under the title Focusing on People and Striving for Peace and a Decent Life for All on a Sustainable Planet. Mazad, in cooperation with Arabian Auction, announced that it would put a selection of 30 special private vehicle number plates for electronic auction through the website of Arabian Auction, that's www.arabianauction, or alternatively through downloading the phone application Arabian Auction. It will open tomorrow and will run until September 24th with the minimum bid set at 100 Bahraini dinars. Bidders must complete an online registration and pay 20% of the minimum required bid to secure their participation. Payments can be made through either bank transfers or valid credit card, and a property deed will be issued once the number is awarded. The numbers which will be auctioned online are posted on Mazad account at Mazad Bahrain and the Arabian Auction account at Arabian Auction. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 8,377,325 shares worth 1,762,064 Bahraini dinars conducted through 363 transactions. Investors traded in 23 companies, four witnessed a rise in shares, 10 fell, and the rest maintained their shares. The leading was the commercial bank sector, and the investment came in second.